Hi again everyone. Um, at the end of the last video I mentioned that in, in this final part, part 4, I would just quickly demonstrate how I create the drain lip on the bottom of the box frame. Um, and the way I do that is uh, I use a grinding disc to put a thin score or a thin cut just um, underneath the area where I want the lip to be bent down. And you can see here I've got a steel bar that I use as a guide to cut that little slot. I don't go too deep with the slot, it's just enough to allow me to bend the edge of the steel down, create the lip and, and give it a nice straight edge, a nice guide. So the tool I use to create the drain lip is just a, a piece of flat stainless steel bar with a 3mm slot cut in it. Um, I've got a slot cut in the edge of the steel box frame, one at each end of the overall distance that I want the, the lip to be, the overall length. And uh, I just slowly work along with that bar, bending it a little bit at a time. And uh, once I get from one end to the other, then I do a quick check, compare it against one that I've already done. One, so as I get a nice even bend all the way along, and two, so as all of the drain lips are the same angle. You won't actually be able to see it from the next shot, um, but as I bend that lip all the way down, it can tend to leave little crinkles or little creases in the edge of the lip, and that's a look that I don't really want. So all I do is use a pair of hammers, um, a larger one like a, a backing hammer or a reaction bar, and the smaller hammer I just use to tap any creases and take them out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that drain lip now. Um, after one last check with the straight edge, um, there's a few little dimples that I just took out with the, the hammer. Um, but other than that, it's a good shape, it's a right angle, and it looks really nice. And just as importantly, it's the same angle as all the others, so they make a good set. What I can do now, just to finalise these uh, drain lips, is to fill the gap at each end with uh, a bit of weld, um, grind it and polish it off and make it look good. The final step for me in the process then was to just clean up around the area and then I use a die grinder with an abrasive flapper wheel in it and just run it over the outside, take all the sharp edges off, tidy it up and you probably would have noticed from that shot earlier I did pick up a bit of a metal splinter from the edge of the, the frame. Well, there we go. And just to wrap up uh, this final video, there's four box frames uh, that I manufactured, two for each side through the uh, cabin sides. Um, and the reason I made these these box frames, going back to the very beginning of the process, was because the cabin side curvature um, is just too sharp to be able to put uh, a flat port light through the side. So my solution was to make these box frames. They actually turned out pretty well in the end uh, and once I did weld them in they look really nice uh, and they fit well and I think they'll do a really good job. 
all right then uh, once again thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got something useful out of it um, if you do want to contact me and ask any questions the link to my website and an email address is available from the youtube banner on my channel thanks again and i'll see you in the next video